everybody. Welcome back. Let's follow together. Yesterday, I took my wife on a, a trip to the dentist. We got on the car, punched in the GPS, go down the road, and it says, signal lost. And as soon as it, it said that, I just, I thought, I thought out loud, I said, thank you, God, that, that you, Jesus, the signal is never lost. You're always there. And then right after I had that thought, you know, I had another thought. It was this. He's always there. His word stands. But we're not always connected to the source of the GPS. We're not always looking in that direction. We're, we're called to not lean on our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct our path. And it led me to this Isaiah 55. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me and eat what is good. And you will delight in the richest affair. Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. And uh, it reminded me of the woman at the well. It's a story from uh, from the Gospel of John chapter 4. When uh, Jesus meets the woman at the well. And at that time, they, they weren't even, the Jewish people weren't even supposed to to really be in cahoots with the Samaritans, let alone a woman. But Jesus just totally breaks down all cultural barriers. Why? Because he is the Lord and he loves you. And, and he met this woman at the well and, and he said, you know, verse 13, Jesus told her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Then the woman said, you know, sir, give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here. And that's when he told her, hey, you go back and get your husband. And she said, I don't have a husband. And that's when the Lord told her, you've been with, with five men. And the guy you're with now is not your husband. And that's when she realized that she was talking to somebody that knew things that they shouldn't. And God knows everything. He, he knows where you've been trying to find that, that water and things that won't satisfy. Only Jesus, that relationship that he paid for on the cross, that you could draw near and, and find direction and, and purpose and potential for your life. And it's only found through the finished work of Jesus. His will in your life. He is the Lord. It means He's the boss. Only He can satisfy. Only He can bring that milk, the sustenance to your life. And He can bring the wine. What does wine do? It makes you joyful. The kingdom of heaven is not just meat or drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That Holy Spirit, that living water that only Jesus can give you to live in you and guide you each and every day. And the GPS is always on. It's just do we have ears to hear? Are we are we hunger and thirsting for righteousness? Are we looking to Jesus to know how to live? The woman said, verse 25, I know that the Messiah called Christ is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I am. The one speaking to you, I am he. Jesus is the Messiah. He is the only one that can bring you that living water. He can bring the honey from the rock. He is the rock, but he is sweet and he loves you. He is firm, but yet he is compassionate. It's his way. It's a narrow way. It's his way or the highway. The highway to hell or, or the narrow way to life. But once you've been on that highway to hell and you've seen that everything that this world has to offer 
the, the deceitfulness of riches. It doesn't bring life. It just has you thirsting for more. Like the woman at the well trying to find life through these other men. Each failed relationship only brought her deeper in, into shame and to regret. That's why she was at the well alone. Because everyone else looked down on her like she was a failure. But Jesus sees past your failures. He sees the potential that he paid for on the cross with his own life. But he's not dead. He is risen and he is the Lord. And he loves you. And he has that living water, that living purpose to, to stop living for yourself and live for the kingdom. And he'll give you new purpose. And that will bring joy, fulfilling God's will for your life. So look to him. Look to the rock for which water flows. That is Christ. He wants to live in you and through you and give you a new purpose and potential in this world. Only He can satisfy the deepest craving of your heart. Be blessed in Jesus' name.